So we just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about the trailer we've been using all season, uh, which is our 2021 Trails West Boondock Nation Edition, and talk to you about some of the features that we've been using for the last couple months and why we've grown to love it so much. We've put a ton of miles on this trailer, pulling it behind our GMC, and it has treated us so well. This is our fourth Trails West, I think, and we've never really had an issue with the tens of thousands of miles that we put on these trailers. Yeah. So. That being said, us being on the road a lot, the Boondock Nation Edition is dialed in with some extra features for those longer trips. If you're taking trips from the Midwest out here, we helped Trails West design this trailer with that in mind. Yeah, so a lot of the cool features um, on this trailer, and we're not gonna highlight every feature, guys. We're gonna show you a little bit what makes our edition special from the rest and the features that we really like. So uh, right here, we have this hydraulic jack system very nice it's lockable um that's super sweet for getting it on and off your truck really like that makes it super easy to hook up to yeah definitely and then underneath the front we have our propane tanks um, for running the heat our batteries and then this is where you dispense the fuel that the trailer holds so this is a pretty cool thing and something that we've used a ton this season actually more than we ever have yeah in the back right over the axles there's two 40 gallon fuel tanks um, and that's controlled right here so you can flick the pump on here you can read the level of the tanks and then you can switch between the two tanks too um, that being said you could put race gas in one and regular non-ethanol <laughs> in another yeah. um, we usually just use it for sled fuel though yeah. So yeah, being able to haul 80 gallons of fuel on whatever sled trip you're going on is super, super sweet. Um, for example, we'll go on a three-day sled trip. We'll have enough fuel for all of us to be able to just run it out of the trailer and never have to really pull this thing through a gas station or anything like that throughout the course of our trip, which has been sweet. A new feature on our trailer this year is the power awning. We haven't used it much this year yet just because of all the snowfall, but now that we're getting into the springtime, it's sunny like it is today. We're out here in t-shirts. Yeah. We're gonna be throwing some lawn chairs in this thing, <laughs> maybe a grill, yeah. and using this awning this spring. So come on inside, we'll show you some of the interior features. So inside here, this has been our shop for this entire winter. Yeah. We've gone through track changes, bent rails. Free track changes. <laughs> <laughs> ripped off front ends. Since we don't have a shop, this is it for us. And it works out really well. Yeah, it's super convenient. You know, we have the E-channel here on the ceiling. This was definitely taken advantage of when we were changing our tracks. Um, but it's really just kind of like our second home. You know, when we're on the road, like Jack said, this is our shop, but this is also the place where we get dressed and do everything on our sleds and, you know, I mean, we spent a lot of time in here for sure. So there's a lot of creature comforts, a lot of cool features that make this thing, uh, sets this thing apart from a lot of the other trailers that are on the market. Yeah, absolutely. A workbench was super important to us. Like I said, you know, we don't have a shop to go to home to every night. So we're working on the road quite a bit. So we put in this pop-up workbench. Super nice if you need to pull your skid out or if you're working on a clutch, you know, you can have it right here mm -hmm. um, and everything right in front of you. Yeah, I use it a lot in the morning, just set my heavy bag and helmet and gloves on there while I'm getting dressed, I don't know. It's a very useful feature. It is. So we have these cabinets here on the wall. They're diamond plated, super nice looking. This one is just kind of a catch-all cabinet. Um, whatever you want to put in there. We just put in extension cords, ratchet straps, whatever, you know, kind of catch-all stuff. But in this one, this cabinet has heat plumbed into it and it's obviously a helmet specific storage cabinet. So there's heat in there, whether you're using it on the road to dry your helmet out or just to warm it up on the way to the riding zone, this is probably one of my favorite features. It's really, really, really nice. I can't say that enough, how nice it is to get dressed in here in the morning. Um, this little area here, we've got some pop up benches. So everybody can kind of talk about the game plan for the day, get their boots, get their knee braces on, yeah. comfortably warm. Um, this year we've got the couch that also folds into a bed. Yeah. This thing's awesome. It's going to be great for some spring adventuring because if we wanted to, we could sleep someone here and someone up in the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a feature that we've never had before. Thank you Trails West for hooking it up on that this year. That was a surprise to us. And it's been a great feature. We've loved it. Yeah. So another great feature of this Trails West trailer for the longer trips is this overhead storage. So we're able to put four full-size gear bags up here 
no problem. Mm -hmm. About 200 pounds of gear gets up off the floor, out of our way. When you've got eight sleds in here, like we can pack in here, it's really nice to have some of that gear out of the way. So being able to throw a gear bag up here, two gear bags up here, some avalanche packs, yeah, makes a big difference. Definitely, anything that you can get off the floor while you're trying to monkey around in the trailer when you're on the road is great. So that's yeah. that's, that's awesome for sure. You got um, some coat hangers here, hanging the Abbey packs, hanging the jackets, gear, whatever it might be. You'll notice in the floor um, there are holes kind of right here, so that that blows heat up through the floor not only on the jackets and gear that you might have hanging on the hooks, but these holes in the floor actually run the entire length of the trailer. So what that does is it allows your sled as it's melting to drain through the hole, but it also acts as a, um, it actually blows heat up through there. It's their track melt system. So that kind of helps melt some of the ice and, and snow out of your skid and just your snowmobile in general. So that's, that's pretty sweet too. Yeah, every Boondock Nation Edition trailer comes with an 80,000 BTU furnace, which is huge for a trailer of this size. <laughs> it's also got the extreme cold weather package, which includes that furnace and some extra insulation. So underneath the entire floor is sprayed, the walls are insulated, the ceiling's insulated. This thing gets really warm even when it's really cold outside. Not to mention extremely fast. These things don't take long to heat up. Yeah, that's for sure. A new design element on all the 2021 Trails West gooseneck trailers is this wider front bulkhead area. So what Trails West did is they widened this out about a foot in the front. They added a couple windows up here, which makes it really nice for allowing in natural light. We threw a TV up here and we keep <laughs> all our tools and extra gear up here. Um, so having that extra space, it really, it, make, it looks nice and it's really functional. Yeah, I've, I've really personally enjoyed having the extra natural light in here by having these two windows in the front and in the back this year, we actually have race doors on our trailer. So when we have the back door drop down and the race doors closed, uh, this thing still holds heat as if it, the rear door was closed and it lets in a ton of natural light. So um, when we're just hanging out or working on sleds or whatever it might be, all the light that this thing brings in makes it feel extremely roomy for the size that it is. Now this is the 34 foot trailer, so it is it is the biggest one that they offer. Um, and Jack said you can fit eight sleds in here if you, if you really want to, which is convenient for a lot of guys because usually you're trying to bring as many people as you can in the same truck and trailer from the Midwest to the West to go riding or whatever trip you might be taking. So that's kind of what we've enjoyed about the big trailers at least. Yeah, this trailer has meant so much to us. We would not be able to do what we do without it. Between all the travel around the state of Idaho and beyond that we do, all the work that goes into keeping a snowmobile on the snow for the entire season, and just having a spot to hang out when we're riding with people, this trailer is it. For sure. So guys, be sure to check out Trails West on social media and go to their website. A lot of information there. Um, another thing is, you guys, if you ever stop by our Heydays booth, be sure to ask us questions about it. Trails West is always hanging out in our booth and they have our trailer and other trailers there too that they're usually promoting. So uh, that's another cool thing. If you want to see these things in person, Heydays is the spot and in our booth is where you'll find them. Guys, the features we've showed you today don't even begin to scratch the surface really between the lower wall lighting, the stereo and sub you know, some of the tool storage yeah. that this trailer has, the 110 outlets throughout. This trailer is really dialed in with all sorts of features. Yeah, definitely a treat to be able to use this. So thank you guys at Trails West so much again for letting us do this every season. It's been huge. But that being said, if you guys have any questions, be sure to hit us up on social media. We'll try to answer as much as we can about this. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.